start with Novartis. Why that one? Well, it's one of the largest European uh, companies in the space, based in Switzerland. It has got a strong focus on cancer drugs. Now, understand when I say people live longer, that's great. But of course, that means they get cancer more than they used to in the past, because in the old days, people would die of heart disease. There's no time to get cancer. They also own Sandoz, which is uh, a generic company. And remember, Novartis was formed on the basis of the merger of Siva Gagey and Sandoz mm. some decades ago. It also owns a 33% stake of Roche. It's complicated. It's another huge one. Anyway, market capitalization, $223.8 billion. Trades in New York and in Switzerland. Price earnings ratio of 31, dividend yield of 3.19%. Nesson, what stands out for you? And in fact, while that's happening, there's the share chart. Yeah, you I can think see you a bit know, up and down. Uh, it's been, ever since the US elections, I think it's been a bit of a, a rough time for all pharmaceutical companies in general. So, you know, when you, when you look at that, uh, that share price, take into consideration that there's a fair amount of uh, um, uh, risk associated with, mm. with the investment from that perspective. Uh, but if you look at, uh, you know, overall, Novartis has been a, a reasonable performer. You know, they've got some uh, uh, drugs, especially on the, on the cancer side, on the, on the oncology side, uh, you know, in which they kind of lead the market. They manufacture things like, uh, people will recognize things like uh, Voltaren and yep. Ritalin and that sort of thing. Yep. You know, all these uh, drugs are going to be um, uh, aspired to, you know, as you say, as people kind of st start to afford them a bit more, you know, uh, they're going to want to have access to these. So these have got a nice, reasonable sort of runway. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Novartis is not uh, one of the drugs that I would, uh, or one of the drug companies that I would say is, is probably positioned for, the, for stellar growth. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you're getting a reasonable dividend yield out of it. It's a, it's a solid performer. So, you know, if you're an investor that just wants uh, something that's relatively uh, less risk uh, in the sector, it's the sort of one you'd mm -hmm. go for. So the cancer focus was interesting because they swapped a vaccines business with GlaxoSmithKline a couple of years ago in order to focus on that. Interesting also because they own Gleevec, which is one of the top selling drugs for leukemia, but it's kind of reaching the end of its useful life because it's close to patent expiration. So getting more into the cancer drug is interesting. Put that share chart back up again though, because one of the reasons it did a little bit of a rise at the end recently was that their um, eye care company, which of course is Alcon, they make uh, those uh, contact, contact lenses. lenses, had done quite badly and there was talk that it needed to be spun off. And it did a little bit better in the most recent set of results and that's gotten people a little bit excited. The other thing that's new is that the CEO is up for change. So there is a new guy coming in whose name is Vas Narasimhan. He's an American mm -hmm. and this is interesting, a Swiss company that's had two American CEOs and the reason generally is because they believe that the CEOs from America are a bit more action oriented. <laughs> so he has already said there's going to be a major productivity improvement. He's looking to cut costs and shorten the times taken by the research people to bring new products to the market. He is the previous chief medical officer of the company. Anyway, these are all just additional uh, factors. We're running out of time, or if we can't spend too much time on this one, we're going to go hot or not. My own personal view is hot on this one, but you seem to think maybe... I think there's better opportunities out there. And on a 30 PE, maybe it's uh, yeah. kind of done its best. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go not hot. Not hot. Okay.